and see in the place to be and see hi all and welcome at my channel on this video here I'm gonna show you a special thing um, this video here is extra made for the people that has no display after they have flash the PlayStation so I'm talking about uh, if you have downgraded your PlayStation and uh, we can say flash at your PlayStation with the E3 flasher or the E3 linker or whatever then sometimes at some PlayStations you will have no display so that means the monitor stays blank and you will have really no display uh, mostly you got this problem on the PlayStation 3 FAT editions on the CECHK0304 or 01 uh, you will have after you have flash it no display so the thing that you will need um, to do that now what I will do is uh, you will need a USB stick like uh, yeah, like always you will need your custom firmware I uh, recommend you to get the Rogero downgrader yeah you should always begin with the downgrader but you can install whatever you want you can also yeah quickly install Rogero 4.55 it's up to you but I recommend to install Rogero downgrader set the toggle QA flag, install Rogero 3.55 version 3.7 and then you can go and install all the custom firmware that you like. But yeah, this all you can see on my other videos all and yes. Then you should connect also your um, PS3 pad and uh, I will now show you um, this all here on the slim editions because I need um, to, uh, yeah, we can say install a uh, custom firmware here and uh, that's why I will show you now this all here on the slim edition but it's all still the same also for the fat editions okay for the people that has now no display and the PlayStation is on and you got no display then you can try to connect a SCART cable like here okay connect the SCART cable and look if you have with the SCART cable some display okay these are these cables here I'm talking about this is just a SCART cable, I don't know how it calls in English, but I think it's the same like in German also. So this is a SCART cable and you can try it with this one if you get some display. Uh, and if you still have no display, then I will show you now how you can fix this problem. We can say this is no problem, um, because some PlayStation Fat Editions, um, yeah, they stay uh, with a black monitor and they are waiting just now for the firmware. So that means when you have hacked your PlayStation, yeah, with the E3 flasher, and when you have done the dump, we can say the, the dump it uh, backup, uh, then you have flash it and after the flash, you make the PlayStation on and it stays just black, okay? But this just happens mostly on the FAT editions, like I told. And then, if we have no SCART cable like this one here, then we can say you will need to install a custom firmware over, I will call this, um, yeah, over a, a blind modus, okay? So that means you will not be able to see something, but I will tell you now how you will be able to install a custom firmware or any other firmware uh, just without monitoring okay so the first thing that we need to do now is you need your uh, like I told your USB you need your PlayStation 3 pad like I told and then we need to do that all here over the recovery mode okay so I will now show you how to install a firmware any firmware it doesn't matter which firmware you can install a custom firmware and a original firmware over this mode and uh, yeah, I call this a blind mode, okay? This is the blind modus <laughs> because we are not able to see something uh, right now. Okay, I will now start and uh, for the recovery mode, I think the most people already know how to do. You just hold the power button and you just, yeah, hold it till it gets off again, okay? And I will now show you no monitoring. You just do this step by step like me. So and now it gets off and now you press it again till it makes beep and after the beep it makes again beep beep and after the second beep you let your finger go one time and beep beep and then you let your finger go. We are now in the recovery mode okay I know that and uh, the other uh, important thing is also that you get your um, USB stick we can say with some LED lights, okay? So if you have a LED um, on your USB stick, 
then you will be better able to see when it's working or not. And um, I think you have saw it just right now when I was entering the recovery mode, the USB LED was blinking. So that means he has detected the USB stick. Okay. The other thing is also never get you a CD inside. Take the CD if you have some game inside or whatever. Take it out now. Okay. Take this CDs, whatever you want or whatever you have inside, just take it out. This is very important or it will maybe install the update from the DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. This is just fucked up. So get the CD, DVDs or Blu-rays out and um, the USB stick must be on the right one. Okay, on the last right one. If you got the fat edition, then connect the USB stick on the fourth one and you just connect your PlayStation uh, pad. It's not important where. But the USB stick must be on the right side. Okay? So, we are now in the recovery mode and then you should press one time this PS button here. Okay? Just press it one time. So, and now we can say we are now able to see the recovery mode but you not and I will also not show you <laughs> because um, we are doing this now over a blind modus okay so that means you have no display and whatever and we will need to install a firmware over a blind modus because you don't have some display okay and now you go five times down okay you press here five times down then we can say we will install the firmware over the recovery motors, okay? So press just five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now we are on the display where it shows that we can install the firmware over the recovery motors, okay? And now we just press one time X. And then we can press now start and select together. And uh, you just press it so long that you can see your LED blinking, okay? And here we go. Just wait a bit. So, and I just see that it's working, okay? This will be also the same for you. Wait till this is stopping, or yeah, let him work, because now it's searching for the firmware. After this all, um, the PlayStation should show you again some display. Because this is the first step um, that you need to know. And um, as why you don't do that, you will not be able to see something. Because the PlayStation is waiting for the next step. And on the K model, CECHK0304 or 01, um, and some other FAT models, also maybe also the L versions or whatever. Um, you will have after the flash no display okay and I will try to show you this so great as I can so I call this uh, yeah installing a custom firmware over a blind modus <laughs> so yeah I have already uh, done this a lot of times but this is no time to show you this because a lot of people has asked me um, how to go on now because they have no display and just a blank screen when they think all is broken, but it's not. The PlayStation is now just waiting, and you should also now just do nothing. When it has stopped to work, you can um, wait about one minute, and um, it should, yeah, blink again one time. And after that, um, when it's working, we can say when it stops to work here, it should blink again because now it's checking again. Okay, and if this is now finished, then now you should have some display, okay? I will show you now. Here we go. <laughs> we have now display. And you should also have now display also on your PlayStation, okay? Because till here, it's very hard, okay? But if you have done this all, like I told you now, then the PlayStation will go on, like my did now. Then it will rescan again, and then you will get some display. If not... Then we will keep going on and I will just now keep telling you what to do if you still have no display. So the next thing after it gets quickly off and it gets on again, then you will see it uh, will blink again. You should wait about one or two minutes like I have to, uh, yeah, just like the time I have talked now. 
and then you should just press one time the home button again okay but normally now you should have some display if not okay just now if not then you do now like I will do also so the next step is now to press the home button here we go then you should press one time to the right side then you go one time down okay that means to accept okay and then you go one time right okay now we are on accept to install the software okay and then we go to the right side again and then we need to press X okay here we go and we press X and now it's installing us the firmware okay here we go just that you can see I'm not lying to you guys and it will install and you should also take a look at your HDD LED because there you also can see that it is installing okay so for the people that are new on my channel welcome and sorry for my English but the most important is that you can understand what I mean so we need to wait a bit because the HD will work but not um, all the time so that's why you should also take a look at the HD and let him work because now you should wait about one or two minutes till it gets automatically off you should not touch anything here and you just need it to let him work okay so and you can see here it needs a bit longer that's why but if you have no monitor you will be able to see nothing that's why we just look on my joypad <laughs> or on the HDD so let me put this away <sighs> okay guys so but like I told um, the first biggest step we have already done and then you should be able to see some um, monitor again because um, the first step what we need to do is to get in the recovery mode then you press five times down here the LED is working like you can see then you press five times down then you press one time X and then uh, he will search on the USB stick for the firmware and after it has loaded the firmware you should have some display again okay if not then you just do all this step by step like on my video and if you have not understand anything then you can skip all the time back okay all right here you can see it's installing us the firmware now on the HDD and here we are about 40% and yes I wanted to make this video long ago but uh, not all people has this problem so that's why yeah the video is just coming yet and now you will be able also to see that on my channel how to install a firmware over a blind modus okay Yeah, this lady here is a beautiful one, very cool, also with a fan speed adjuster, and here we go, it has just got to 100%, and then it gets off, like you can see, okay, and after it gets off, now, latest now, you should have some monitoring, 100%, you should have now some display, and ta-da, here we go, now you should press again the home button and let's just wait because it's loading here we go now yeah you don't need to press the home button now so now you just press yes ah, of course you need to press one time the home button because the tripod was off here we go one time yes and then you can set whatever you want I need the HDMI and here we go so guys, you have now seriously fully installed the custom firmware or whatever. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you like that. And um, yeah, wish you the best because um, I have nothing more to say. This was just a quick video. Uh, how to install a custom firmware over, we can say, a blind modus. <laughs> I call this now blind modus because I don't know how to call that. But I think it's the right name. And uh, yeah, now you shall just disconnect all again and um, 
you can make of course a quick test make it off now because all is done here and uh, yeah now it's off and here we go again now you should have without problem some display also on your fat editions okay because this problem here just happens on um, yeah mostly on the fat editions okay here we go all is just great all is just working okay guys I hope you like it and uh, if you have some questions or whatever if you need some help or not or whatever <laughs> then just ask me I will post you here down on the description I will post you the combinations what you have to press but the best is you watch this video and you just do that step by step with me and after that you will have some display also on your fat editions again and then we can say welcome at your custom firmware and yeah <laughs> okay guys I'm talking again too much wish you the best peace like always subscribe if you like somewhere here and uh, yeah if you have some questions like I told just leave me a comment feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not and yeah stay tuned and see in the place to be <laughs> peace a lot thumbs up if you like would be great because I have a lot time talking for you guys and yeah See you later, alligator. La di dari. We like the party. <laughs> okay, guys. And see. In the place to be. And see.